Thank you for joining um, my channel, Prodigy Education Center LLC. Um, we here at Prodigy Education Center offer uh, tutoring and test preparations uh, for grades 3 through 12 um, for the science and math program uh, and also for the high schools, biology, chemistry and physics. Um, we also offer college students um, help with the biology, biochemistry, uh, microbiology, immunology, um, chemistry and physics. Um, just expanded the program uh, for CAS Academy Development for Medical Laboratory Scientists uh, who are taking ASC, ASCP exam preparations. Um, these will be review classes uh, based on their um, test curriculum. And also for um, high school graduates or college graduates who would like to join uh, biology research labs, um, we offer uh, basic review um, classes for techno techniques and also will be given certificate of completion after the program. Uh, for more details, just uh, call or email us to get more information on that. The information about uh, for the grade 6 science, uh, light and colors. Um, this is not an extensive review, uh, but this will give you some basic information for students to uh, review before the class. Um, so the first one is um, waves. Um, so in the light and um, light and colors, um, it's important to know the variations between the waves. So the transverse waves, longitudinal waves, and then the surface waves. Transverse waves is what I think generally people uh, talk about when they say light light waves uh, and electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, I will come back to that in a minute. Uh, and the longitudinal waves which is mainly the sound waves uh, which we also uh, been seen sometimes we see in the uh, drawings surface waves are mainly the ocean waves is a good example where uh, if you have a floating uh, object in the ocean you will see that it's going up and down but mainly there's the waves actually going between the two medium which is one is the water and one is the air so um, and that's mainly the uh, there's no much use of that for as a so the transverse waves are uh, drawn like this, uh, going up to uh, there's a peak and then comes down and goes up and um, comes down again and goes to that um, um, phase. So the whatever on the top, uh, when it peaks around up to the top level, it's called crest, and when it goes down to the lower level, it's called trough. Um, the distance between the crest and the resting. So this is the resting um, place. So you start the waves from the resting uh, position um, it goes up and then it actually comes down so the distance between um, resting to the crest is called amplitude and then the distance between two troughs is called wavelength so this is the wavelength we talk about um, uh, when we talk about the waves in between different uh, waves it looks like a spring a coil spring and also you will see some areas are really compact and some are really relaxed kind of thing and the compact are called compression and the relaxed areas are called rarefaction so the distance between two compression is the wavelength measured for the longitudinal waves so electromagnetic spectrum uh, is based on uh, different wavelengths uh, of different um, waves uh, starting from radio waves to gamma rays um, so if you see the wavelength or the waves going through this uh, starting from radio waves you have a, a longer wavelength compared to gamma rays we have a shorter wavelength um, so the wavelength as I mentioned earlier the distance between um, two troughs so if you see these two troughs this is the larger size than between the gamma rays so this is also true for frequency. What is frequency is uh, number of waves passing through one particular point in one second. So for the radio waves, if you keep a point and see how many waves goes through that, um, because it's a wavelength is high, it will have very low number of waves goes through in one second. So there's a two waves goes through the um, one particular point for one second. It's called two waves per second also known as Hertz, H-E-R-T-Z, so 2 Hertz, H-C is a short form. If you do the same thing for the gamma rays, 
um, the other wave range is very short so if you keep a point and see how many waves goes through that you will see there's a more waves goes through that particular point in one second so it has a higher frequency in the gamma rays because of the frequency is higher the energy is also very high in gamma rays compared to radio waves um, this is what makes gamma rays x-rays and ultraviolet uh, more dangerous for living uh, organisms than the radio waves or microwaves so the radio waves are regularly uh, what we hear uh, from radio um, um, AM FM um, radios and the microwaves we are familiar with microwave ovens which is actually has a high energy when you focused into one particular area so that's what the microwaves are made up of can focus on a particular food area so it heats it up uh, really high uh, but cell phones also use microwaves um, to communications uh, purposes and we don't see any major effect on uh, health or any issues on that um, the infrared we cannot see it and that's used mainly um, with the particular filter and also it, it's a, a heat um, sensor so if you have a heat, you actually emit infrared rays and that can be seen by special filter, special um, binoculars or special uh, goggles. Um, and then the visible light is what we see. And within the visible light, there are a lot of different wavelengths and that's what's shown here as a different colors coming up. Um, the next one is ultraviolet rays, which is also we cannot see. And we can see only visible light within this electromagnetic spectrum. Ultraviolet is coming from um, radiations through sunlight um, and that's what um, global warming and all kinds of talk about uh, because of the destruction of the ozone layer we we'll get ultraviolet rays through from the sun which is dangerous for most of the living organisms which can cause skin cancer or burn skins and x-rays and gamma rays are used uh, most of the better uses for medical purposes so x-rays you are family with making taking x-rays and the gamma rays are used for treatment of cancer and everything and also gamma rays is used um, for nuclear bomb which can destroy um, vast majority of area because of very high energy and also is focused energy we'll talk about light and reflections as the law of reflection says that the incidence rays which is the light source coming from there and if you have a flat mirror it reflects um, from the surface so it's called reflective rays the law of reflection says that if you draw a line perpendicular to the mirror for the uh, side of uh, contact um, the angle between the normal line and the incidence ray which is called an incidence angle will be equal to reflective angle which is this part of the um, angle which is normal line between normal line and reflective angle ray. so this is a true in any light reflection whether it's a um, flat surface or um, rough surface you, this this law will follow so that's why you see nice reflection if it's a flat if it's a not so flat or it's, it's a bumpy then you will see different waves it's kind of scattering but if you um, measure the angles it will be the same low uh, area so the second uh, way of uh, light can go through is called refraction because this is mainly between two medium so the medium is where the what is the uh, molecules within their light goes so if it's an air or water so if the light goes from air into water when it hits the surface of the water there's a medium difference so the density difference so it actually cannot go straight through it um, so because that's actually decreases the speed of the light wave that makes that light wave to change the directions um, so that is called refraction um, so it's kind of a bending of waves or uh, it's because of the speed so it's called refraction a good example for refraction is the prism um, light so what we see is a white light when you um, focus the white light into the prism because prism is made up of uh, kind of a glass and some other uh, opaque material uh, it will diffract the refracted lights based on its wavelength so that's that's what we see different colors as a rainbow um, when you go through when the light goes through the prism because of the material or the medium so it can actually separate out different wavelengths based on the 
um, a fraction and that's what we see third way of uh, light waves travels through is called diffraction diffraction means it can actually go through or go bypass some of the blocks and go around it or if there's a lot of light coming through in a, to a narrow area it can go through that narrow and then again spreads out um, to the rays so this is called uh, diffraction so this is also kind of a bending or moving around uh, the the next uh, kind of a mirror reflection um, comes up with uh, mirrors um, so the picture surface a uh, straight mirror um, what we used to look at our faces and um, at houses um, at home um, is easy is the same so you see a reflection as I mentioned earlier but if the mirror is a concave or convex which in this case concave means you have a more curved um, side which is kind of a mirror side reflex um, the light is going to reflect in a different ways um, so if it is a concave like this all the light rays coming in reflecting will go through one focal point um, that focal point is uh, on the optical axis which is a, a center line through the mirror um, uh, and the focal point is uh, known as because it's uh, all the rays goes through one particular point um, so the law of reflection for these or rules of reflection for these is that any incident ray traveling parallel to the optical axis or principal axis um, on the way to the mirror pass through a focal point and diffraction and if any other incident rays passing through the focal point if I draw a line through this focal point to reflect here it will go through it will be that it will look like that so if you keep an image away from the focal point that's important and then and you draw reflective rays from that uh, and if it goes through the focal point you will see the image forming um, away from the focal point but also you will see that it's a smaller size and it's also inverted so it's a uh, point is now downward and point is upward here so the image forms when the two rays or even if you draw three or more rays when they intersect in one place that's where the image will uh, focus and again you want to see this is a concave mirror so your image actually forms in front of the mirror so this is you can use it to project any images or any um, anything uh, onto a paper or a screen uh, you will be using a concave if the image uh, if the object is on the, on the focal point directly so you will see the same law applies so it goes reflex and goes through the focal point but if the second ray which will um, hit in the center of the concave which is now looks like a normal reflective rays again the row is the same you will see it goes parallel so now you have two rays reflective rays are parallel to each other will never meet so it will never form a image more closer to uh, the mirror away from the within inside the focal point now the rays is going to reflect differently uh, and you will see an image forming behind the mirror it look like it's behind the mirror so this is called virtual mirror virtual image you will not be able to project in any way um, but the reflective rays is exactly the same laws applies um, so this is another way to produce um, larger size and the image also will be a larger size and then um, it's also in the right side up uh, so this mirror uh, this is uh, concave mirror is used for mostly uh, when the ladies do makeups you can go close to the mirror and see your face in a larger at magnified uh, form. The other mirror is called convex mirrors so that means it's, it's a um, the concave one is inside and then you it's outside is the mirror form. In this case again same happens the same row in the reflective rays also goes through the focal point but now the focal point is inside the mirror which is kind of a virtual uh, vocal focal point um, because if you draw a circle it goes through that so that's what this is so the reflective rays from this will reflect based on where the focal point is so you can if you extend it you will see it's going through the focal point and then optical axis is the same as uh, for this particular mirror 
and if you draw the same lines as I mentioned earlier and you will see that intersection in the extended rays comes up within the focal point but also it's smaller than the <coughs> smaller than the object so this is um, this kind of mirror is used in the car uh, vehicles um, side view mirrors and if you see them you'll see a warning says the object is uh, appears closer than it is really because the image object actually is far away but we can see the image in the smaller size but it's very close to uh, the mirror so this makes a more visual um, area um, to focus in one small area so it's you can see any uh, cars coming in the behind so it's kind of a safety issue so this kind of mirror is used in that particular yeah. So this is one interesting website uh, talk about different, different mirrors if you are interested you can go and see that as physics uh, some are advanced for physics um, students but you can get some idea on uh, the end of the brief review of grade 6 science uh, light and colors um, we also offer a tutoring program for grade 6 uh, students uh, one on one classes for science and math uh, and also for the NGS coming up uh, as a math review classes, uh, just uh, contact, uh, you send me an email or um, call us to get some more information. Um, these can be very affordable rates uh, and uh, convenient times uh, for individuals uh, who like uh, extra help with the science and math. Thank you again for tuning in. Uh, Percy Education Center uh, offers uh, tutoring test prep. Uh, preparation classes and also some career development programs uh, for high school graduates and college graduates. Um, so we have uh, expanding uh, most of the programs um, so please tune in to our website protegeeducation.com uh, for more information. This program um, and more sections of the grade 6 and other uh, grades and some other programs will be uh, posted here. Uh, please pass this information to your family and friends. Thank you.